Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask. Today is... Oh, I just clicked the wrong button here. It's uh, Wednesday. Today is the fifth day of February. It is National Girls and Women in Sports Day. National Shower with a Friend Day. What you doing later, Heidi? <laughs> uh, National Weather Persons Day and World Nutella Day. By the way, for those of you who don't know, uh, she and I are married, so... <laughs> as creepy as that was, it wasn't nearly as creepy as it could have been <laughs> if we were just coworkers. Um, I got a guest coming up in the program today. I don't know if you know this. There was like a football game over the weekend. Remember that? I guess so. I heard something yeah. about it. Uh, and some people kind of like watching the ads in this game. I have the senior vice president of Ad Week, Lisa Granistein, and we're going to be chatting about the best and worst Super Bowl commercials for 2020. It's all on the way. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Student loan debt is out of control for many people. Are you one of them? The average graduate walks away with anywhere from $25,000 to $40,000 in student loans. Believe it or not, 2% even manage to owe over $100,000 by the time they graduate. If you have several different student loans, let us consolidate them into one loan and one payment at singlestudentloan.com. If you have only one student loan, we may be able to offer you a better rate to help you get that loan paid off sooner at singlestudentloan.com. That's singlestudentloan.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A study found that college students smoke more marijuana in states where it's illegal, and they drink less beer in those states, too. That's interesting to know. Where it's legal? Yeah, where uh, smoking marijuana is legal. They smoke more marijuana, and then they drink less beer. So the smoking more marijuana in states where it's legal, I mean, really, you had to do a survey for that? Right. Uh, But the drinking less beer kind of confuses me I, I wouldn't understand why i guess maybe because they're like well i'm doing this instead so right I mean, they're doing be, that instead there you go and well it's expensive so it's not like you can afford eh. to do both and they're college kids well that's true <laughs> um i do have a link to this entire study it's in the show notes for today at john and heidi show.com When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. 59-year-old Frederick P. Brechter was arrested at 11 p.m. on a Friday for attempting to drive his vehicle up Magic Mountain Ski Area in Vermont. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Uh, When they pulled him from the ski slopes, police met with the driver. Uh, He's from Shelter Island, New York, by the way. Uh, and they said he failed a standardized field sobriety test you and think? displayed several indicators of impairment. He's already had at least one other DUI on his record. So that's a bad idea. When you think, you know what? I'm going to drive up the ski hill. I'm going to drive up the ski hill. Yeah, I don't think that's a good... Maybe driving down how, the ski And hill. how dangerous. Imagine oh, yeah. all the people that were there. Well, and... it was 11 p.m., so there was nobody oh, okay. skiing down. Thank goodness. But uh, yeah, either way, it's a bad plan. Uh, but that is what happens when your brain is on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. NBC Television has renewed the soap opera Days of Our Lives for a 56th season. How great is that? Yeah, season number 56. And some of the people from the first season, I think, are still in it. Maybe not. No, uh, I don't believe Some of those characters, so. they stay for a long time. So probably not that long, though. A new I, M- I think the... Um, I, I actually did watch this show. Is this the one that had Stefano so, and all yes. those? Okay. Yeah, okay. I remember when um, we first got married 20 years ago, you were watching it. Mr. and Mrs. Horton from the very first um, episode were in there for a long, long time, but they both actually died. They oh, both they, passed away. Like in real life? Yes, in real okay. life. Yeah. Because like they, they were on it right up till they couldn't even act anymore. Well, they so. kill off characters, and then they bring them back, and then no, they no, kill no, those off, two died in real okay. life, very, very elderly, but they were huh. still on the show from time to time, right up to the end. That is awesome. I'm going to squeeze at least one other thing in here. I had a whole pile of stuff to get to, but we were chatting. Uh, a new Sorry. Amazon series <laughs> follows a woman who fell in love with Ted Bundy. 
So it's a new yeah, series. Yeah, I saw the previews to this. It actually looks really I interesting. Don't. I just don't get it. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. It's a new year. Have you made a resolution to quit drinking or to finally get away from drugs for good? These are both habits that are hard to kick, but you can do it. We want to help you. Timeforrehab.com is here to help you find the help you need with your particular situation. If you want to make this year the year you get the help you need to live a normal life again, start with a little help from us at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now your scoop of the day, brought to you by FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. NASA unveiled the first ever space home, where Americans will, someday, have a massive window to view Earth while they're in space. That's an interesting idea. I have zero interest in anything like this. No. No, I don't don't really want to either. I remember, uh, you know, just moving like uh, a few miles away from where we used to live and I missed everything. Can't even imagine living in outer space. Yeah, there's no way. Like, oh boy. No interest. Going to have to fill up with gas before we make this trip. Uh, the makers of Jameson Irish Whiskey are selling a cold brew coffee that is 70 proof. Whoa. This is coffee, keep in mind. The press release says this product is aimed at people who want a breakfast coffee that packs a punch. Really? <laughs> I think what they meant to say, it's it's geared for people who have a problem. You can't be drinking that and driving to work. No, that is a bad idea. I've got a link to the story. I don't know where you can buy it, but uh, it's a bad idea. University of Missouri has started using an app to track students' locations to make sure they attend class. So I'm not sure how that works. Is the app like on their phone and they can track where their phone is? Do you think? So the university is going to track whether or not these kids show up at class? Apparently. Okay, you know what? When I was at college... There was nobody holding me accountable. How long did you stay in college again? Not very long, but it was my own fault. And I was an adult and I shouldn't have to have been babysat. You are And correct. here's the thing. If you're uh-huh. going to coddle these kids. Ki- yeah, I was going to say something else. I know. That's why. I re- if you're going to coddle these kids and not give them any responsibility, how in the world are they ever going to hold down a job? I don't know, Heidi. This is ridiculous. Well, maybe if they're going to babysit these kids, they probably don't belong maybe in Maybe their boss will babysit them someday as well. I don't know the answers. I am just reading the story. This can, can country I read? is in for a world of hey, hurt. If can we I read the next story? I guess. Why don't you calm down over there? <laughs> Take a deep breath. Drink some of that ridiculous. coffee over there. Wink, wink. Let's pretend that's coffee. Uh, video of two Long Island girls getting splashed by a massive puddle after getting land sharked on their way out of a store has gone viral. Uh, The incident happened at a place called Hemp Clouds, a CBD dispensary and a convenience (laughs) store. I didn't know what Land Shark was, but uh, you can watch the video if you want to see what that's all about. I still don't know what Land Shark is. Well, we'll have to watch the video together. The FBI called out Prince Andrew in a press conference last week saying he has... To pr- he has provided zero cooperation in the Epstein probe, despite promising to help as much as possible. And then they said he's saying he's going to help, but he's not helping. Mm. So that's not good. Pizza Hut is now selling a mac and cheese pizza, but it's exclusively at Target. Does any of that make sense? Oh, there are little Pizza Hut stores in are there the really? Targets. Yeah. How long has it been since I've seen? I've never seen that, so I must not. Well, we don't go to Target. I don't it's know. It's been years. It has and been a while. And, and uh, GM has announced they're bringing back the Hummer, although this one will be an electric Hummer, so it will not run on gas. <laughs> I think it's actually kind of a cool idea. Uh, that is going to do it for your scoop of the day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Student loan debt is out of control for many people. Are you one of them? The average graduate walks away with anywhere from $25,000 to $40,000 in student loans. Believe it or not, 2% even manage to owe over $100,000 by the time they graduate. If you have several different student loans, let us consolidate them into one loan and one payment at singlestudentloan.com. If you have only one student loan, we may be able to offer you a better rate to help you get that loan paid off sooner at singlestudentloan.com. That's singlestudentloan.com. Our guest today is Lisa Granistein. She is the Senior Vice President at Adweek, and today we're going to be talking about the best and the worst commercials for Super Bowl 2020. So Lisa's on the line right now. Lisa, over the course of the entire game, what would you say was uh, the favorite commercial that people liked the most? I'd say it was Bill Murray's. Uh, Jeep Gladiator ad. I can see why people like that. It was a really cute ad, and the Super Bowl happened to land on Groundhog Day, so they tied into the famous Groundhog Day movie with Bill Murray. Yeah, it was only the second time in 54 years that it fell on Super Bowl Sunday, and 
such a such a coup to get Bill Murray, who never does ads at all, uh, to to go ahead and do this one and reprise his role from Groundhog Day, the movie. Um, just really funny, classic Bill Murray, good time, good storyline, you know, perfect dad. Awesome. So it sounds like we got our winner there, but what are some of the other ads people seem to really like? People really like uh, Doritos, Cool Ranch with Lil Nas X and Sam Elliott doing a sort of a Western dance battle. Um, you know, it was really, again, really smart in terms of cross-generational, cross cultural references with hip-hop, Western mashup. Um, you know, your 8-year-old and your 80-year-old grandma could enjoy it, too. Um, it, it just it was just catchy and fun, and uh, you, you couldn't look away from, uh, you know, Sam Elliott's dancing mustache. That was brilliant. That's awesome. Now, were there some that people just didn't like? You know, there were a few. Um, they were a little missed about planters. They felt that, you know, there was this whole funeral and it was uh, they made this whole big deal about getting rid of the mascot, Mr. Peanut, and it was a bit of a bait and switch. From the tears of Kool-Aid, Mr. Kool-Aid, the uh, mascot came a, uh, a plant which sprouted Baby Peanut, so they, so now we have Baby Nut as its, its mascot, not unlike, I guess, Baby Yoda. Um, some people think it's adorable and cute. Others are like groaning that they actually didn't kill off this this mascot after a hundred years. Again, our guest today is Lisa Granistein. She is the senior vice president at Ad Week. Now it's officially a football game, but this game has turned into just as much about the ads as it is about football, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, the ads have become a really big part of the game, mostly because brands know that a hundred million people are watching it. They, they want to be entertained, they want to engage, and this is a great time to introduce new products and to reinforce old ones. So you get every generation watching, you get every demographic watching. You know, even women make up a big chunk of the uh, viewership. More women watch the Super Bowl than they do the Oscars, Grammys, and Emmys combined. That's why there's a lot of uh, women-oriented, female-oriented brands on the Super Bowl. Now, the Super Bowl ads are very expensive. Not just the placement of the ad, but then you have to do something. You have to actually make people remember that. And quite often, people use... Uh, emotion. So they'll use humor or they'll use something that's sentimental. Uh, this year, did we have quite a few funny ads or sentimental ads? Well, this year there seemed to be more lighthearted ones. There weren't any seriously controversial ones. People played it safe with politics. There were some sentimental ones and patriotic ones, but nothing over the top, nothing that felt iconic in terms of patriotic or sentimental. They were good. For example, Google did one called Loretta, which was a real tearjerker about a widower trying to remember his wife. Budweiser did one about Americans and and showing what real Americans are, not the stereotype. So there there were mixed bag, I'd say, but for the most part, they were more lighthearted this year than usual. I know a lot of people watch the Super Bowl, but there's also some that don't watch that, or maybe they missed it. Is there a place online they can go still to see the ads? Absolutely. Adweek.com, we have all the ads easy and ready to view, as well as uh, some of our reviews are up, and lots of background information on all of them. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lisa. Once again, Lisa Granistein is the Senior Vice President at Adweek. Their website, once again, adweek.com. And I'm going to make it really easy for you to find that list of best and worst Super Bowl commercials for 2020. I've got a link right to that page in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you have a lucky shirt? FunkyMonkeyShirts.com has several lucky shirts to wear next month for St. Patrick's Day. Or if it's a really lucky shirt, you can wear it every day. Green shirts, four-leaf clovers, Irish sayings, and more. Don't wait. If you order your lucky shirt right now, it can be here in time to wear for St. Patrick's Day. Find t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Dolphins have been trained to you to be used in war. 
Uh, dolphins are known as very adorable, intelligent I animals. I have heard this. But these crafty creatures were used largely by the United States and the Soviet Union during the Vietnam War and during the Cold War. Both countries studied the creatures for their sonar capabilities, but they trained them to detect mines and to bring equipment to divers and to find lost equipment and to guard submarines, amongst other nifty tricks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is very cool. It's going to do it for today's Fun Fact. When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now a news headline from somewhere in this world. Dateline England. The Queen of England and Prince Charles are holding crisis talks over Prince Andrew's involvement in the Epstein scandal. Second story about him today. I'm kind of done talking about the whole royal family. It seems like they're in the news for a lot of weird things lately. They've got a lot going on. I know. And I haven't even read all the stories. There's like 15 stories that I didn't even read because I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of sick of talking about this. So I can tell you this. I would not want to be the PR person for them. Can you imagine all the questions they're getting these days? Not good. This has been a news headline from somewhere in this world. It's a new year. Have you made a resolution to quit drinking or to finally get away from drugs for good? These are both habits that are hard to kick, but you can do it. We want to help you. Timeforrehab.com is here to help you find the help you need with your particular situation. If you want to make this year the year you get the help you need to live a normal life again, Start with a little help from us at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. An Avery County, North Carolina man has been arrested and charged after authorities say he struck a high school basketball referee after a game. Says here, a 47-year-old Jerry Dale Jones of Newland charged with assault on a sports official, disorderly conduct, and resisting a public officer. This is a terrible idea, by the way. Happened January the 21st. That was a Tuesday. After a high school basketball game, uh, Jones approached the victim, pointing his finger at the victim's face and stating, that's beep, and blank, 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 call. A lot of stuff I can't say on the radio in this story, right. honey. Anyway, then he struck the victim in the face. None of these things were a good idea, by the way. Jones refused to listen to the verbal commands of the officer who was there to to break things up. Uh, It says officials said cases like these are what causes a referee shortage. Jones was arrested and held on a $5,000 bond. He was ordered to have no contact with the victim and is not allowed on the school property. And I bet whoever this person's child is is just really proud of his dad. I bet or he's her dad. Really, yeah, yeah, really. They got to be going. Wow, Dad. Uh, thanks, by the way, because now everybody in school is being mean to me because of what you did. Don't do that. Don't act like a lunatic at your child's sporting events. You know, I would like to say that I don't understand how people get so riled up, and I never did before until our daughter joined basketball. Yeah, she was in basketball for like half a season, and Heidi was freaking out in the crowd, just like box her out. <laughs> You're st- shouting and screaming, there's veins <laughs> bulging out on your neck. I'm like. What are you even saying? <laughs> Half of what you said didn't even make sense. <laughs> How would you know? You I don't know. About sports. I don't know where you heard these things. <laughs> <laughs> like just scooting down. I'm not yeah, with her. I became a I psycho. Know. Yeah. So uh, calm down when you're uh, at the games. I get this it. Has been today's weird news. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh. Brought to you by SingleStudentLoan.com. A Florida man was arrested Wednesday after shining a laser pointer at multiple pilots making their approach oh, at an holy airport. Cow, yeah, that's horrible. Bad idea. Forty-one year old Charles James Chapman Jr. Forty one. Yeah. Multiple charges. Temporary temporarily blinded one of the pilots. Yeah. Lock and him up. It says videos claim to show him throwing rocks and directing a laser pointer at the sheriff's helicopter that was trying to locate him. He pointed a laser uh, at multiple aircrafts, and it did not end well for him. No. He got to go to jail. He was arrested after pointing at one of the planes. Uh, anyway, this kid, 
not not a sm- kid. kid. He's forty one. Not a smart thing to do, uh, no matter what the age. He allegedly grabbed a hammer and made a striking motion towards the deputies, who deployed a taser and subdued the suspect. So, everything about that—that that could have been our weird news, and the other one could have been the moment of doubt. They're interchangeable most days, but this is just a bad idea. <laughs> When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida or is it fake news made up just to trick you and amuse me? All righty, I got this. Tell me this one. Fake news or Florida? Doctors have warned that a troop of herpes-ridden monkeys are roaming a neighborhood in northeast Florida. Fake news or Florida? This is Florida. It is. Did you read this online? I read the story. (laughs) I, don't, I almost didn't read this. I just can't believe. You, did you hear me earlier laughing? That's what I was yeah. laughing about. Oh, I, was, right. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Wait a minute, yeah. what? I read this story. I've got, I've got a link to it. For those of you who are interested, I can tell you I am not. But I have a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. And this, I think, is just, I don't know. I think it's an interesting story. And, you know, it, it falls under the category of good news here. Uh, here's a headline. It says, woman with only 12 followers shares final chemo tweet and then becomes a Twitter star overnight. Okay, so cool. She had, First of all, good for her. Yeah, that's the, the cool thing is, and a, and a lot of folks are saying how great it is, that, oh, wow, it's great, she's a Twitter star. Okay, I don't know that she even cares that she's a Twitter star. No, she had she's a like, final... Hey, I'm yeah. done with chemo. That's why I said good for her. Exactly. She, she was completely That's why chemo. when I was saying it's good news, I'm like, I, I want to make sure everybody understands the part that I think is the good right. news. Mother of two from the UK recently posted a video from her final chemo session to Twitter saying, I don't tweet off, and I only have 12 followers, but today was my final final chemo session, and I wanted to tell everyone, and at least 12 people, she said. Now, over 32,000 people, That's and it's beautiful. even more than that. The number keeps climbing. I've got a link to the story and a link to her account if you say, hey, I want to follow her too. Uh, Katie Helland was diagnosed with a rare type of breast cancer. And her tweet has inspired many people to share their cancer stories online as well. More than 100,000 people have left comments on the post. That's interesting. Video has over 10 million views. So 10 million views, 100,000 comments, and she went from 12 followers to only 30,000 followers? Well, it's one thing to comment on it, but not everybody follows that I just person. don't understand. I, see, I don't know how Twitter works. <laughs> there are things on there that I, I hit a button and I'm like, what did I do? Did I just... <laughs> I don't know if I just retweeted that because I. So if if you ever see something on there that looks really weird from the John and Heidi account, it's because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, but a lot of the comments that are on here that I'm reading are just amazing comments, and it's other people who've been through things that have had you know issues as well, and and everybody's kind of pulling together. So kudos to you for you know being done with chemo and kicking cancer right in the tush, uh, and also I guess for the little spotlight that you got there on Twitter. That's so. right. At a girl. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show.